What's up, everyone? Now, on YouTube, there's a whole bunch of uh, bentwood ring tutorial videos to make your own bentwood rings. But can any of those rings do this? That's right. This is a DIY NFC bentwood ring. Let me show you how to make one. So I just got a package from Adafruit and it's got the main component, the thing that we need the most. These super tiny RFID tags. We're going to put one of these inside of our bent wood ring. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take some of these wooden veneers and we're going to cut them into strips that are slightly wider than the size of the ring that we want and definitely wider than the size of the RFID tag so that it ensures that we can have it inside the middle of the ring and still be able to sand down the ring after. We're going to cut the strips then we're going to stick the strips in some boiling water for 15-20 minutes and then wrap them around something like a pipe or something that is uh, around the size of your finger. We're going to let them dry. Let's go do that. Okay, now that those are uh, drying, it should take a couple of hours. Um, I have to make sure that the NFC little NFC tags will actually work through a few layers of wood. So I'm going to set up a little thing here on my computer with a tag reader. We'll see how it works. So otherwise, this whole video is pointless. Okay, so I have the little uh, NFC reader from Adafruit connected to an Arduino Uno into the computer. We've got one of uh, Adafruit's programs running. See if it detects it. Yeah, found it. All right. And then here, I've got the little NFC tag on a few pieces of wood. We'll see if it reads it. And it does. Let's see that again. Three layers of wood. NFC tag on the other side. Reads it, no problem. So that means we can continue. And good thing, because I think the wood's dry now, because it's been about 30 seconds. So here's the dried wood. Got a few colors. But for simplicity's sake, I think I'm just gonna do a single uh, type of wood. And um, you can join two together by like sanding the ends and then gluing them together, and it's just part way through the ring, it turns into another color much like this, but uh, I'm just going to do a single color right now because that'll be the easiest and quickest. So what I'm going to do is start wrapping the ring up and gluing it with uh, cyanoacrylate, CA glue, I don't know if I pronounced that properly, and you just kind of glue it as you roll it around. It's pretty simple, just don't glue your fingers to it. You might want to use gloves. I might want to use gloves, don't have any. Um, and then part way through, I'm going to show you how to put the NFC tag inside the ring. So when you got your dried strip, um, you're going to want to cut it down because it's going to be a bit long. It's unnecessary. So the size of the finger you want, in my case, is going to be my pinky, which uh, you find something that's slightly smaller than it. And you're going to want to cut it so that you have three, f uh, four actually, full layers. And that's because on the third layer, we're going to be putting in the, um, the RFID tag. And then you can always sand it bigger from the inside and have more room so that you don't sand into the RFID tag. But you can't really sand 
down, you don't really need to sand down from the outside because that's as big as it's ever going to be. So I'm going to cut mine off right here and then uh, and then we have to sand a bit. And then we're going to sand the ends of each one so that they're tapered and they get really thin because this is still has some thickness to it. Now we're going to start rolling this up using the CA glue to glue itself to itself as you go along. Once you get three wraps in, then you know, stop, stop gluing, and we'll go from there. It's also important that uh, you have some sort of tape on the thing that you're doing because you're more than likely going to glue it to that piece as well. And it's easy to take the tape off and then sand it off later. Now you want to take your RFID tag and trace around on the wood so that you have a nice outline. Hopefully you don't glue it to there. And now we're going to cut that out with an X-Acto knife. I'll keep gluing, but this time once we glue this section down, we're going to stick the RFID in that spot and continue to glue the glue, glue the wood on top of it. We'll keep going until we get back to that position. As you can see now we have a nice spot to put our RFID tag and glue it in there. We can do that right now. Okay, so pull the ring off whatever you use to uh, wrap it up. It's right here. And now let's test it out and make sure that it still works before we start sanding and waste our time. Got the ring. The pad here. Let's see what happens. Works. Now, before you start sanding, keep in mind how close to the center or how close to the edge the NSC tag is because you don't want to sand into it because you might break it. If you do happen to, you'll start to see the uh, Kapton tape, it's that orange tape and you have about a millimeter or even less before you probably ruin the coil and the NFC tag. So sand the inside until it fits your finger, sand the outside until it looks cool. It's as easy as that. that's it. It's done. Now to finish it you can use different waxes, sealers, um, but I think a lot of people will just coat it with uh, CA glue because it if you fully coat it in it and just kind of wipe it down you're careful then it becomes waterproof and that's kind of the easiest thing because you've already got CA glue because you made it. And check it out. It works. That's how I did the login trick anyways. It's just uh, an Arduino program. And it just types in password and presses enter. It's not, well, it's kind of secure, but a plain text password. 
that's it. I've got the parts linked in the description below. And uh, it's pretty straightforward. Not hard to do. And now you have yourself your own customized DIY NFC bentwood ring. So hit that like button if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe if you want to. I'll be making stuff like this. Channel's kind of random, but whatever. Anyways, be good and have a good night.